You know I never keep those in, but welcome back to the Let's Play Shadow the Edgehog, episode 14! I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskull. Yay! I hope you keep in at least that one. You can cut out the rest of them, but just that one. That's, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, so, what are we doing this episode? We got Chaos Emeralds, right? We went through the city. Yeah, yeah, we, we got all this. Uh, Shadow's kind of repeating his dialogue, because it's all on a set path, pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, now we are on to more brand new stages, because we are finishing the Almost Hero route. Okay, we met with Knucklehead last time, and we had a uh, long discussion about uh, Sonic Chronicles. That was interesting. Well, I wonder what other Sonic game we're going to talk about today, but right now let's talk about Shadow the Hedgehog because everyone's favorite line is going to be appearing again. Well, first, uh, President OTP, yeah, we've seen him. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Oh, wait. This is the line. This is the line, man. Uh, this is the line. Uh, uh, if you miss it the first time, here Cir it is. Circus Once Park. again. Oh, these stage names. And here it is. Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? Oh, just beautiful, classic <laughs> dialogue. Oh, God. And, and the fact that he's that. running through a circus park makes it so much funnier. So, uh, last we were here, we had to get 400 rings. Well, fuck oh, that. Cool. We're certainly not going to help Eggman either. So we just got to finish the stage and get on out of here. I actually didn't know you could do that. You could just, like, see what to do to get the different paths on a map. That's kind of cool. Well, well, yeah. Oh, hi, Tails. <laughs> what are you doing at the circus looking for damn fourth Chaos Emeralds? You say circus, I say casino, because it's what it pretty much is. It's, yeah. it's a casino. I think, uh... Last time we discussed a Yuji Naka love casino type levels, or at least like funhouse kind of levels. Oh, 50 rings, jeez. Seems to be like one in every Sonic Team game. It's mm -hmm. weird. But yeah, and we did, we did, we did mention that. And, and to be honest, I don't mind it because they're at least appealing to the eye. At least you get a whole bunch of rings. It's not like getting rings nice. matters anymore now because it's not keeping track. Oh, Shit. right. Come on. So, Come so on. Just going for the uh, the normal stage. We don't need to get 400 rings. Yeah. But I mean, they, they don't, like, keep track, like, in Sonic Adventure 2, where we kept track how many rings that we had. Because oh. we could use it to buy stuff. Now it's just, you know, it, it nothing, doesn't matter, really. Nothing matters. See, Shadow doesn't need the dollar bills, okay? He doesn't need the golden rings. He just needs revenge. Oh, so Sonic is, then? <laughs> yes. No, no, Sonic is all about the dollar bills and the gold. Sonic bills. is just a filthy capitalist! <laughs> now I was thinking, you know, he's, he's got a nightlife. I mean, he needs those golden rings to pay for all his expensive cars that he doesn't use. Uh, uh, pay for he does use the... them! He does have expensive cars, and he does use them! Oh, crap, I forgot the kart racing games! <laughs> uh, oh, well, I, I mean, car racing games are not exactly carts. So they did. They had Sonic R, where uh, he he just ran the foot race, and never, all of his other friends, except Amy, did it. And you know that that worked well for a while. But then Daytona '98 came out, and they're like, "Hey, Sonic, uh, we're I'm afraid there's some regulations you need to you need to understand here." <laughs> oh, God. have you actually uh, played the Sonic uh, racing games? The like the All Stars racing. I remember playing All Stars, like the, the first All Stars racing. And because it focused so much on drifting, this slippery-ass, nonsensical, drifting bullshit... <laughs> I didn't care much for it, my friend. I actually kind of liked it. It was, it was fun for a, for a brief moment. But I will so, say, well, it's better again, than I expected. Why would I ever want to play a Sonic racing game when Mario Kart 7 and 8 already exist? Right, and that's why I said it was fun for, like, a moment. <laughs> because then I realized, oh yeah, I've got other games to play. I mean, maybe I'll pick it up just for just to have beat in another game, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, all those Sega All-Stars. I think Ooh La La was in that too, from a game that nobody remembers, except everybody Space remembers. Space Channel 5. Yep, everybody remembers, but apparently Sega doesn't. Wasn't Knights in that as well? I think. That's another franchise that probably needs to come back. Well, it did come back, and then it died again. <laughs> yeah, six. Uh, maybe, maybe for this next gen, you know, maybe the maybe the Switch. 
Uh, maybe the Wii U. I know it won't come to Xbox or PlayStation because they don't care. But how about you? How about you make a first-person knights? Uh, and, yeah, a first-person knights oh, game God. for the PlayStation VR. Oh, oh God! <laughs> oh God! That would be so bad. We'll call it night. Journey into the uh, <laughs> journey to nightmares. <laughs> Terrible. Harder than Dark Souls. Harder than Bloodborne. Harder than uh, <laughs> Takashi's Challenge because it's literally <laughs> nauseating to play. <laughs> it's the one game that's physically impossible to play. Uh, oh, good. All right, so let's skip ahead a little bit. We get a physically oh, impossible. Uh, yeah, right. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh well. I think it'd be funny if Shadow accidentally broke a Chaos Emerald. Like, he was going so fast that he accidentally, like, chipped one of them, so then its power never worked again. Well, if we're gonna take Dragon Ball logic, because, again, no, Sonic well, turns yeah. Super Saiyan with when you gather the seven Dragon Balls, I mean, the second Chaos Emeralds. You know, Dragon Balls aren't supposed to be destructible, you know? So they can never be broken. Yeah, they can't, because they think they did it in Dragon Ball once. A guy oh, was shoot. trying to sell the guy was trying to sell fake Dragon Balls, and uh, I think it was I think it was Mercenary Tao, I forget. But uh, he grabbed one and it's like, so these are real then. He throws it on the ground and it shatters. Like, yo, oh, Dragon Balls are magic. You can never break and all that. Even though Krillin tried to destroy a Dragon Ball later on, but you know, whatever. Actually, who who would be hey, the... Rick. Good job. Perfect. Who would be the Dragon Ball equivalent of like that asshole that wishes Shenron, he gets his free wish from Shenron, and says, can you destroy all the Dragon Balls? Can't be much worse than women wishing for a piece of women's underwear. <laughs> oh, who did that? I want to say Roshi, but that... Oolong! Aren't you done yet? At this rate... He's like, I wish for the most comfortable pair of underwear! Oh my god. Because Dragon Ball was zany back in its early days. Right. Zany, it had action, and... Oh god, these guys. Yeah, that's just what we need to see. Fucking Chaotix, right? Uh, right, the Chaotix crew. You, you know, the characters that everybody remembers. So yeah, I was uh, recording footage, and I reacted in horror when I saw Chaotix, but I was in my happy place talking about Dragon Ball just now, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I brought it to the forefront. I shouldn't have done no, that. You, you brought me out to... I don't even remember anything about Dragon Ball anymore. I brought you back to harsh reality. All your favorite things are dead. So Shadow just walks right past them, hops onto this computer. It's like, oh, Data Man, uh, Eggman's database, huh? Well, okay. I'll hack into it. Quite literally. I will hack the keyboard with my fist and Jesus. create a portal into cyberspace oh and catch you nerds later. Oh my god, that is atrocious. Kind of cool though, actually. Well, I mean, if he has the power to like karate chop into different dimensions or into cyberspace, whatever you want to call it, that is pretty awesome. But just the fact that he just went up there, slapped it, all of a sudden, hey, let's go into the Mad Matrix. And then the three chuckle fucks in the back are just going, hey, this is awesome! <laughs> now, God, I, I actually... Crew. Anyway. I actually really like this level. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. It's fun to play. It's got a great sort of, uh, I'd say gimmick, but, uh, see, we just got to escape. I need to but uh, Black Doom wants us to detonate the bombs, and SBO wants us to, de to set all the terminals or whatever, but, uh, yeah. We're not helping either of them. We're just getting the hell out of here, but maybe we'll come back later, because... Again, I really like this level. It's actually kind of fun. We got these, uh, colored bits here. Colored panels. You just make them all one color, I guess. And, oh, there you go. Oh, really? Are there any just effects the for the different colors? Uh, no. Oh, okay. They just gotta, so be, they just gotta be the same color, but, uh, in, in ways that the colored panels are set up, you can either make it so it takes like five seconds, therefore giving you a good time, or it can take like 20 seconds, maybe even a minute, because you keep, ah, shit, ah, ah, I made that one great, ah, ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, okay. You see, maybe it'd be easier to make, to make a certain one yellow than it is to make them all blue, you know? Mm. That is if you even give a shit about time, which I don't even remotely do Exactly, all. yes. So do you think a speedrun of this game would actually be interesting to watch? Well, yeah, because uh, 
depends what you mean by speed run. I'm wondering if there's a if there's a person out there who, and I know there probably is because you know the world and the internet and everything, but uh, somebody who would speed run every one of the the major endings. You mean an all endings run? Another set of uh, possibly not all 365 or however many. Well, there no, are no, no. I mean, I mean all 11. Yeah, right, right. All, all 11. Okay, all, all story route endings. Yeah, okay, let, let's say story and endings route hasn't been done. You're the speedrunner watcher. It's like, Welcome to month three of my all 327 endings speedrun of Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh my god, that would be maddening. Oh, who would do that? Uh, do you think anybody has done that? Just out of curiosity, is there somebody with enough time on their hands to actually do that? Let me start a Patreon. At five million, I'll do it. <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh, God, and does that include being better at the game? I don't think so. I don't know how good you can be at this game. Not when the game is actively fighting you all the time. See, I want to... Going back to the speedrun thing, I want to see somebody break this game. Because it actually looks somewhat technically sound for the time. I want to see somebody tear this game apart. Uh, aren't, is that what we're already doing? Well, I mean, you're... you're doing your damnedest, but I'm meaning, like, doing simplistic things to utterly break it. Like, a uh, last GDQ, The Run of Doom. I thought that game was really technically put together. You know, it was done really well. And some Jagoff just goes, like, up a wall and goes <laughs> through the entire level, beats the first stage in, like, a minute. I'm like, you... that I, I love this game, and you just, you just tore it a new asshole. Good job. Well, it's supposed to astound you. I mean, people have already beat Breath of the Wild in under an hour. I know, and actually, uh, speaking of that, I saw a report where uh, a guy was like, I'm about to get the world record of Breath of the Wild! And then the game slowly froze and crashed while he was fighting uh, Calamity Ganon. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't geez. be the worst feeling in the world. Well, oh, um, God. Here we have the main gimmick of the stage. Ooh, this is cool. It's this, it's this big open area that's divided into four quadrants. Blue, red, green, and yellow. And, um... Each of the four terminals that SBO wants to turn on is at each of these four corners. Oh. And Black Black Doom wants us to destroy 30 bombs or whatever to just take out the cyberspace or something. And I think all the bombs are in this open area, so you gotta use those rails and go over those big gigantic uh, purple balloon things that we saw to take them all out. Hmm. So here, well, if you're trying to do the neutral ending, where to go next is not exactly clear. So what? we just we just came from like the, I think the red quadrant or maybe the blue, and uh, now we're in the yellow. But each quadrant has their own special, I guess, mini mini uh, challenge, I suppose. Their own part of the level to do, and at the end is a terminal. So that's how the good hero route works. Oh. And of course, colored panels can't get too far without them. Oh, I thought it was going to be one of those, you know, those special types of puzzles where it it changes. Uh, a different amount of blocks every time you hit a different one. Oh, <laughs> I love those puzzles. I hate them. They make Yay. me mad. They, they, <laughs> they make me cry. Aww. Everybody like, feels sympathy for UDJ and the block puzzle. Like, really? The, the last time I saw one of those puzzles, I just started openly sobbing. You were there! You saw it! I'm so sorry for laughing. <laughs> I love oh, the misfortune! No. <laughs> Speaking of which... Ah. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this looks awesome. Oh, okay. oh what a piece uh, of shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Is, is Shadow oh, Shoe Size like Kayak? What the hell is he doing? Oh, Come please. on. <laughs> Jesus, give his shoes to the Titanic. Ah. Six more people would have lived. And... <laughs> There we go! Okay, there! <laughs> is he playing oh, b-ball right. in his spare time? What's he doing? Hey, a key. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh, oh! Okay. So, th this is one of the terminals. Oh. Right. And it makes a sound like you're turning on like a late '80s computer, like you're t you're turning on Amiibo. It's like uh, an Amiga. It's like the startup sound. 
So that's two out of four terminals, and we're inadvertently Jeez. doing the hero side story. We don't want to be doing Whoops. that. So we gotta think about a way back. Hmm. And I'm thinking since we came from, well, yeah, we came from the blue side. I'm thinking natural progression. We should start heading to the red end. Okay. Because so. uh, you know uh, that's that's kind of forward, and the yellow and green are just kind of the the sides. If you're doing the hero and the dark side story, but if you just want the neutral, just make a straight shot through and head to the red. This does look really yep. cool. That's one of the bombs there, and hey, it, it serves for a good loading screen too. <laughs> loading, loading, uh, sir. We need a way to mask these loading screens, otherwise they're just going to be staring at black for the entire time. Hmm, I wonder. It's like, hi guys, I'm Tokikita Jima. I've got a great idea for a really dynamic and excellent looking level. So we got this big open field and all that, and they, and they make it, you know, that's a pretty good idea, but uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go. Is that really what happened? I, 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 I yes, that is what happened. That's exactly 100% what happened. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. I mean, I'll trust you, you're the Sonic experts. Yeah, I mean, here's a Wikipedia page that details all of it. I mean, I know it leads to the page for pomegranates, but trust me, it's in there. <laughs> no, I, I mean, have you ever been to the weird side of YouTube? It's basically that with Wikipedia. Are Just we the, the weird side of YouTube? I don't think we're considered that yet. I know some of my videos are on the weird side of YouTube. At least they've been claimed that, especially the... The Hinoko videos, yeah, those are considered... Oh, yeah, that one! Those uh, are considered yeah, okay. weird side of YouTube. <laughs> I think it's weird if we actually enjoyed it. Like, oh, I got you! Look at a hot anime bag! Oh, you can sleep it! I can see your tits! <laughs> do, do, uh... Th there was one guy who did, like, a reaction video, and I definitely do the air quotes on that, because all he was doing was just staring. He looked a little tired, and he was just looking at it and uh, laughing every time we made a joke, because we're funny, and ha, ha, ha. But, um... Every you, time you, I, you, you should have seen how wide his eyes got at that menstruation joke. <laughs> it's like, oh shit! Did he just say that? Oh uh, yeah, I did. And by the way, I should probably have him take that down because it's it's literally a waste of time, and he's just showing off the video while doing barely anything. That's not a reaction video. That's uh, that's you watching the video and you dying. So here's what just happened. Yes. I couldn't make my way back up from falling down from that triangle jump for the first time, so now you I gotta go all the way back. It. Oh, Jesus I, Christ. Mm, yeah, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> <see it now. laughs> anyway, let's try that again. <clears throat> so, stay on this platform is what you're saying. Yeah, and don't fuck up the triangle jump because you apparently don't get another chance, like I said. That's... that's kind of bull. I mean, why don't... why doesn't the platform come back down? That's why in every elevator in Dark Souls, there's a lever for you to pull it back down. And I did. Great job. All right. Yay! Yay! Oh, back to cyberspace! I imagine this is Whoa. what going through the internet looks like. Wow, that looks cool. That's a neat <laughs> set piece. The computer's fan is going haywire! Oh! <laughs> hey, it's my computer at any given time. Without the chugging noises. I'm sorry, that's me. <laughs> no, it's it's true. Oh, well. oh god. See it's a it's a it's a mini tower, and hey, it gets the job done. I know I can't play Skyrim or anything, but hey, I can still play Binding of Isaac, and that's all I need. Nice, nice. But uh It tries! It tries so hard, and I could never be I could never be prouder of my little machine. Don't don't you listen to those other boys. You're perfect in your own way. Perfect in your own way. What'd you name your PC? Well, he's also my first desktop computer, so... Oh, right, right. I mean, I named him George! <laughs> Don't lie to me. I... Oh, God, how do you get to this? Yeah, I'm kind of confused, too. I'm thinking maybe I need, like, need to get all the way up and maybe, you know, do the whole gravity thing in Sonic Adventure 2 where I kind of make my way down or something? Like, maybe I gotta turn something on for something to work? Perhaps? Maybe? Uh, I mean, I was just thinking hmm. just pop the giant balloon there in the middle that's spinning all over the place, but... You know, I think that might be silicone. So, that's on. Right. I assume that's a portal to take me 
back in case I wanted to try and get that fourth terminal because that <laughs> no. was the uh. that was the third terminal we activated. Oh shit! Uh. Good thing we didn't. It's a good thing we didn't go to the green uh, area because that would have absolutely fucking uh, mm -hmm. set us on the wrong path. Oh, okay. So just so <clears throat> I got this because I well I, I thought you could do that but you can't because you're oh, floating. Crap. But uh, that trip up there wasn't completely worth uh, a waste of time because now I saw these colored panels. So I'm thinking, ah, oh, I just gotta align these up, and that's gonna take me to the yes, of course. Oh, well, I mean, duh. So you just have to go over <laughs> to those panels. You don't actually have to activate the terminal. That uh, no, I, I I did not know. Okay. And... But hey, I love I love this though. Listen very closely. Okay. What a waste of my time. <laughs> <laughs> he does not like the internet. Oh, an E rank, but nah, whatever. Well, have you seen? The internet don't like him either. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Let's play Shadow the Hedgehog.